I just dropped some batteries in my coffee mug because that's where I'm at in my life. Greetings, Earthlings and Frag Commies. My name is Luke, and today we're talking about a fragrance that comes from a legendary line but doesn't quite get the love or attention that it deserves. It sounds like my childhood! We do have a FragCom question to get to before we dive in. This one comes from Ollie's mom. If you haven't checked out her channel, please do so. She puts out some awesome content and she might have like the best descriptions in all of FragCom. She cracks me up. Ollie's mom asks, Tom Ford, you no longer Poe. That's fair. Um, I just did a review on Tom Ford Tuscan leather not too long ago. It ain't cheap. She's got a point. And my channel name is Lucas Poe. Dichotomies, am I right? Maybe if I wouldn't buy things like Tuscan leather or, or green Irish tweed, you know, maybe I would have some more money. Maybe I wouldn't be Poe. But you know what? I wouldn't have a channel name, would I? I'd just be Luke. Who wants to watch just Luke? No one wants to watch just Luke. The mall. Essence de Parfum. I mean, who came up with the name? It's not like that one just rolls right off the tongue. Okay, everybody, we got a uh, new fragrance coming out. Uh, it's a little bit leathery, a little bit sweet. Now, now, do we have any ideas for this? We give it a name like Le Mans. Essence de Parfum. It really boils down the essence of this parfum, buddy. I like where your head's at. You keep that up. You'll be bucking for a promotion. I tell you what. Ka -cha, ka -cha. Definitely opens up fresh with those citruses, the bergamot, the cardamom, and then it's just leading you down this path of lavender, vanilla, and leather. And that road really takes you into the mid. The mid, you're just going to get more lavender, vanilla, leather. But you're also going to get some spices, some cinnamon, some sage. When you reach the dry down, the citruses have faded and you're just really left with this creamy, vanilla, soft suede leather. This is a fairly sweet scent, but it's not in that bubblegum range. It's playful, it's youthful, but it's not so much so that it's immature at all. What does it smell like? You're car shopping, but you're not particularly happy to be car shopping. You've sat in this kind of car a couple times now over the decades and your expectations are fairly low. Sure, this kind of car has been influential. And at times, everyone loved to drive this car to the clubs for some reason. And yeah, you could spot this car a mile away when someone was driving it because it was beastly in its engine revving. So you're test driving this car, you're getting that clean, new leather scent. You're expecting this greasy car salesman agent guy to be like really pushy and be like, how do you like them ponies under the hood? But instead he's very pleasant. And in fact, you begin thinking that like, yeah, I think I could probably hang out with this guy every day if I, if I had to. I mean, Gregory isn't so bad after all. In fact, you don't even think he really looks like a Gregory, more like a Mark. That, frag commies, is Jean-Paul. Gautier, Le Mans, Esso, Pros. It's highly unisex. That's a weird phrase. In fact, I think that's probably my favorite indie band at the moment, highly unisex. It is safe for the office. It is safe for work. It is um, a scent that will get you compliments if that is the sort of thing you are looking for. You don't really have to be too afraid of over spraying on this one. I feel like it's not super cloying for being a fairly sweet scent. In fact, that brings us to the cons. The performance isn't great. It's okay. I would say four to five hours of longevity, 30 minutes to an hour of projection. Le Mans is a line that gets a lot of love and it's just kind of hit and miss for me. I have a decan of the original. I have a decan of Ultramall. I can appreciate what they do. It just doesn't do it for me. This one though is my favorite in the line. I've got a full bottle of Essence de Parfum and I've got a full bottle of In the Navy. And between those two, I'm set. I feel like in the mall. I don't really feel like I need to collect any more than those. That's gonna wrap it up for me today, Frag Commies. If you like this sort of content, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified, hit the bell. Click that thumbs up button if you would. That really does help me out with whatever this is. Hit the bell, go for it. 
I mean, if you like hit the bell and like unclick the bell, that might hurt my feelings, but just don't tell me about it, you know? Sometimes ignorance is bliss.